So when you do this, you can feel all of the tension, crunchies and knots. Whew. I have a lot of tension here. Mm. I wish I could feel this. Feel like a rocky road up in here. It feel like Bissonette Street in Houston. If you know, you know. You don't want to do this for long, extensive periods, okay? Over time, could strain that joint right here, okay? So what you want to do, you want to keep your thumbs stacked like this, okay? Protecting my thumbs at all costs, baby. And <laughs> listen, these are my money makers. <laughs> Got that good Yaki Awaken geogenetic green juice. See what's going on. Trying to be cute, then spilt my shit. <laughs> anyway, man, welcome back. It's your girl, Jazz Avante. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jazz Avante, Divine Healer. Today, I'm gonna take y'all through a self foot massage that I do on myself, if not daily, every other day. It's just a way that I can connect with myself, give myself some healing. And listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more posts like this. And if you're interested in all things massage, health, and wellness, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well, okay? Now with this routine today, it's gonna be minimal equipment. All I'm using is my good old hands. And this is a hot stone that I got in my hot stone kit. It's for my pinpointed pressure. It helps with getting that good deep pressure around my heel in certain areas, okay? If you don't have something like this, you can use not a sharp object, but something that's round and blunted at the end, okay? Now with that being said, let's get into this routine. So to start off, well, first of all, before I even get into my routine, disclaimer, I don't do the same routine every time, right? I do what feels good for me in the moment. I listen to my body, really connect with my feet whatever my feet needs in that very moment that's what i do okay and also be mindful of your body mechanics okay you don't want to overexert yourself with your with your hands because your hands can tire out okay so different mechanics that you want that you don't want to do you don't want to do this for long extensive periods okay you see how my thumbs are away from the rest of my fingers that over time could strain that joint right here okay so what you want to do you want to keep your thumbs stacked like this okay it gives better pressure and you actually can lean into it without trying to put all of the pressure on your thumb here okay so okay And this doesn't take long at all. I would typically do three to four minutes each foot. Okay. Just take your time. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, so I'm just giving the planter surface of my foot some pressure here okay with my knuckles another thing if your arms start getting tired switch it over remember those body mechanics
I'm gonna take my stone and just give my heel some good pressure here. For my people who are up on their feet constantly, your feet need this, okay? And typically when you go to these standard foot massage places, they'll miss this part right here. So this is super important. Yeah, your heel can take massive amounts of pressure. So I like get my heel with this little tool right here. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna invest in a reflexology kit. So next time I do a video like this, I'll have that for future references. That blood flowing. Yeah, I have really flat feet, flat and narrow. So this is super important for me. Giving myself some pinpointed pressure here. And as I'm doing this, I'm feeling for tender spots. And if I feel this tender, I'll stay there. And when I'm done, I flush it out. None of those toes. Get that cross fiber action. Now, if it's tough for you to sit in this position right here, like it is for me, what I typically do is I let my leg out, shake it out, shake it out. Remember, there's no right or wrong way. Shake that leg out, get that blood back flowing, we right back at it. Another technique I like doing is taking my fingers, spacing out my toes like so, and just letting it sit there. Okay. Just kind of do some stretches like this back and forth. I'm supporting my ankle. Now you don't want to forget that dorsal surface of the foot on the top. I like to get the spine right here.
go along that medial part of that foot here with some good thumb thumb compressions Real quick now when you giving yourself a massage it's all about intention right intention is key you're figuring out what your body likes take your time take it slow okay it's all about what you want and it's all about you listening to your body we live in a world where we get everything so quick 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 instant gratification but sometimes man we just gotta sit still be still okay and once you be still things will really start to open up for you and we talking about life right now i was having a conversation with my home girl the other day she was telling me things that she was going through mentally spiritually i asked her i said you know what are you doing for you what are you doing for you? And so that's my question to y'all. What are you doing for you? Like myself, I'm a provider in my nature, right? I'm a protector in my nature. I'm a giver. I'm a healer. So sometimes I feel myself overextending myself at times. But that's just the healer in me. You know what I'm saying? But one thing that I had to come to terms with is jazz. How are you going to give 100% out when you're not even refueling your cup? Right? What are you doing for you? Whether that be giving yourself massages, whether that be taking yourself out on a date, to a restaurant, going to a park, no phone, vibing to some music. What do you do for you? And so I'm helping to bridge that gap, right? For the people who are givers. You give constantly. I'm here to remind you to do something for yourself. All right, back into the routine. My left foot is definitely more tense than my right, for sure. I gotta take a little bit more time on this left. And so when you do this, you can feel all of the tension, crunchies and knots. Whew. That are in the foot especially under the foot here in your plantar surface of your foot on the bottom and you'd be surprised man we hold so much tension there need some more of this I have a lot of tension here. Mm. I wish I could feel this. Feel like a rocky road up in here, man. It feel like Bissonette Street in Houston. If you know, you know. Tch. Remember, watch the body mechanics. I'm not here. I'm here. Okay? So that way I'm just leaning with my body. Okay? Not really pushing with my thumbs. I'm leaning in with my body. You know what I'm saying? Protecting my thumbs at all costs, baby. 
Hey, listen, these are my money makers. <laughs> gotta protect those hands. Woo, wait, I got a lot of stuff up in this one. Let's get this out. Woo, Lord. Uh huh. I'm tender. Ooh. I'm staying here because it is so tense. Right here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this one is a little bit different than my other foot. Like I said earlier, you know, I don't do the same thing every time. It's more so of an intuitive thing for me. And that's what I do when I'm with my clients, too. It's really intuitive. Of course, like my clients tell me exactly, you know, their problem areas and things that they would like for me to work on. But I also make sure that I'm connected. I ground before every session. Okay, so that way I'm channeling the right energy to my client. Spacing my toes. I'm about to change up my shoes to some barefoot shoes because I find it that my feet cramp up. kind of often, which means I need to strengthen them. Walking around barefoot around the house, just around my apartment complex. Nigga, for time, y'all know it. All right. All right, fam. So that wraps up our session today. Just wanted to give y'all a little insight on how I love on myself. If this is something that resonated with you, go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you can get all of my notifications when I do drop, all right? Oh, and if you haven't yet, go and watch my video. I did a ASMR video. It's actually going up right now. So y'all go show love on that video. I'm gonna link it in the card above. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback and, and yeah. Let's grow this soulful healing family, man. Let's support each other on just becoming a better version of ourselves. Really aligning and supporting one another. Molding ourselves into our most best version. And that's physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. Okay? On all aspects. Once again, if you don't know me by now, my name is Jazz Avante. Your divine healer. Massage therapist. We out. Love.